My first year at KU was Larry Brown's second year as the coach, and he had a freshman player by the name of Danny Manning. So that kind of raised the bar a little bit, and it's been, you know, fabulous uh, ever since for the most part with, with Larry and, and Roy Williams, another Hall of Fame coach like Coach Brown and, and Bill Self, who certainly will be uh, in the Hall of Fame at some point. So to work with those, you know, real, literally coaching giants and be part of their programs, travel with them, get to know them, and, you know, thrill with them or, or, or be sad with them when that happens, which it does certainly in sports. Uh, that, that's the deal right there. Whether you're a coach, an administrator, or in our case, you know, kind of on the edge of it, a broadcaster, uh, the big thing is the relationships you develop and the people you get to know and people you work with. And I've talked about the bowl games or the Orange Bowl in particular. I've been to, with Kansas, eight Final Fours. And five of those times we went to the championship game and won two of them. So those are all very memorable. But it's more like, you know, I run into players that I covered. I see guys uh, at games now that were playing at Fort Hayes State in the years when I started. And it's just great to, to see those guys and, and catch up a little bit. I think that's the real thing. The relationship, not only with the, as the NCAA likes to say, the student athletes, but also the coaches and administrators that I've worked either with or for over the years. I really think of myself as being a radio guy, and I think it was just a, a privilege, if that's, you know, not too much of a cliche, to be able to be the quote unquote voice of a team and be associated in that manner. But I, I certainly wouldn't want to uh, say I'm as important as the, the participants on the field or the court or, or the people coaching them, but we're along for the ride, and it, it's, it's pretty neat to be part of it.